You're not making this easy, guys. How they trying to take me is the nice guy. Nice try. Double A 12. Pull up, turn his block to fire, guys. I got what's going on guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create the scribble outline effect inside of after effects now before we get started you're going to need this whiteout effects pack right here um they have the whiteout effects so one and then also the second one that they just released but this whiteout effects pack number two has a lot of different outline effects that we can use so i'm going to be using those overlays in this video so yeah you're going to want to make sure you have this downloaded i'll have a link down in the description where you can go ahead and download this and you can use code tylo effects at checkout which will save you some money but once you have that installed you'll get all these different and overlays in these folders here so if you downloaded this you can obviously just go through all of these folders here and just check all of them out but we're really only going to be using the outline trace here and then also the objects and then the markups so before we go ahead and start outlining out our car here i want to go ahead and make like a freeze frame so let's just go here towards the end of the video maybe like right here we're just gonna hit Control shift d which will split that layer then we want to go ahead and right click it hit time freeze frame so now we can just bring this layer out and it'll just be frozen so now we can go over here into the outline traces and i'm just going to bring on the paint line uh number one right here and let's just drag this onto our freeze framed clip right here so at the beginning of that you're gonna see that this uh scribble like line right here pops up so we're just going to scale this down hitting s on the keyboard will bring up the scale so you can just move this around and you basically just want to create like a rough outline just by moving around the paint here and we're going to duplicate this by hitting Control d and move this over here rotate it and make sure that it is connecting to the end right here so when you play that back you can see the start point is right here at the end point if that makes sense but as you can see it looks pretty bad right now but we're obviously gonna have to go ahead and fix that later but for now we just want to keep duplicating these clips till we pretty much cover the outline of the car here and i think three is enough to work with right here so what i can do is now on the bottom layer which is our first paint overlay i can go up to this puppet tool and we're just going to create a point on the very far left here uh maybe one here 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 so they're kind of like evenly spread out so now we can just drag these and kind Kind of morph them and outline the car pretty much with it so there we go that is one outline done right there so now we can just move on to the next one right here do the same thing puppet tool and we can just drag this along the edge of the car here and then last one we're just going to go ahead move this all right, so I just got done using the puppet tool and adjusting the outline to the edge of the car here. So now when we play this back, you can see that it animates around the car. But if you wanted to look more like it was kind of being scribbled on, so like you can kind of tell that they're individual lines there. What we can do is offset these. So, so you want to place them after each other. So when this one ends, you just want to bring that one right there. Same thing for this one. So now when you play that back, it looks more like an outline that's being drawn onto the car. And what we can do is select all of those outlines right there, right click and hit pre-compose. Make sure that these are uh, selected here. We'll just name this outline. And if we wanna make this uh, outline faster, we can right click here, hit time, time stretch, and we can make this like 80. So now you can see that's a lot faster than what it was before. So depending on how fast you want this outline effect to be you can obviously change that value you can make it slower if you want but so now if we wanted we could put some stuff behind the car here some different like paint uh scratches and overlays so so what i'm going to do is create a rough mask around this car and it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see but the paint overlay will be kind of like covering the edges so it doesn't really matter to be honest so now that we have that outlined we can just duplicate that layer and on the bottom layer hit m to bring up the mask and just delete that so now we can go back into our whiteout effects and bring on some different markups here so this one i'm just gonna bring into my composition and drag that one in between the two clips here and let's just scale that down so now you can see what that looks like with that i think that looks pretty cool and what we can even do is bring on more effects onto this so maybe markup two here bring this on maybe some different objects here we have like different like x's that we can use here maybe try one of these and then lastly i'm going to bring on some of the paper textures here so we're going to bring on this texture one and bring that above all of our overlays here we're going to scale that down and change the blending mode to screen and i might go ahead and apply one more paper texture uh, on top of that other one and do the same thing that i just did Bring this to the screen so now you can see this effect is already looking super cool i really like how it's looking but what i'm going to go ahead and do is add a little bit of a zoom in and some shakes so easiest way to do that is just selecting all of our layers here and recomposing those 
And then on this uh, pre-composed layer here, we can just hit S on our keyboard, hit a keyframe at the start, and then go to the end, just scale that in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some shake, and I just have my own shake presets here. Uh, it'll also be linked down in the description below, but obviously you can use whatever shakes you want, but I just think these shakes are super easy and simple to use. So I'm just gonna bring on the shake one right here into my layer, and let's also enable motion blur. So now when we play this back, you can see there is now shake at the beginning of that clip here. Now the last thing I wanna go ahead and do is create a new adjustment layer, and we are just gonna kind of trim this down because we don't need the full adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply an effect called brightness and contrast, and we're gonna go three frames to the left, uh, starting at this little like transition, I guess. So we're gonna go three over a keyframe, go to the middle of those two clips, bring this up to 80 and then let's just go to the very end and bring that all the way down to zero and then we can just select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease them and then create a little graph that looks something similar to this and if you want you can bring this up to like maybe a higher value i'm going to try 130 but yeah when we play this back you can now see that we have a flash and a shake so it's kind of like a camera flash i guess is kind of the idea i was going for here so i just brought in a simple camera flash sound effect here so i'm just gonna line this up in the middle here and now let's play it back with everything applied and there we go i think this effect looks super cool especially for like different car videos you can get super creative using the different assets and everything that are in those folders so have fun missing around with those different paint overlays but obviously the main video is about just the scribble effect here once again if you guys do need to download this pack it'll be linked down in the description below and yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out